welcome back to Six Fully Excited for Learning. So today we're going to do the project Virtual Pet with Prachita Chowda. So let's get started. These are the specific tasks to complete the project. Uh, so this, as we all know, we have done a couple of projects using the database, Firebase database. So now first we have to create the project and then you get this SDK configuration and then uh, that link kind of one and then in that you have to paste that that helps us to configure the database and the code so we have to paste that in the index.html after p5 player js and then it is still here Okay, so you have to paste that it's really important to paste that one one more thing is that uh, so when you get that configuration link then it only has one line only the first line the second line is not given so I have added this line and I have faced problems with this so first what you have to do is that first so this is what you'll see after your project you paste the project in your index.html paste the link configuration link then you have to just copy paste it control c copy control v paste then instead of this app you have to write database database now it will work I'm not sure is it only for me or something like that but if anyone finds any problems with this project you can always use this okay so next let's go into the project now this is the project the last speed was 5 pm now I'll feed the dog now it changed to 4 pm since now the time is 4 13 and when you can add food like this and then feed the dog like this now it won't change the time because it's still 4 p.m. right now as well so it won't change it needs at least an hour okay so then add food add food add food feed the dog you'll see one one gets added and one gets deducted so when you open this like when you um, unzip the folder that they have given and open it in Visual Studio Code you'll see this add food button the dog and you'll see the milk bottle but you wouldn't see the feed the dog one because we have to create that and this last feed is also this also has to be done by us this is a really complex project there's nothing for us to do but it's hard to understand because there are many functions as you can see small small ones update food stock get fed time there are like multiple functions but you don't need to do anything over here it's um, food.js no but we only have to edit some things and add some things in the sketch.js now let's see so I've added um, this feed so I've added this feed feed equals to create button then the dog so what what things should be there thing or now as you can see in this add food button there's something called add food written on the button so you have to keep at the box so we have to keep in and write feed the dog okay inside the brackets and then feed dot position 700 comma 95 the position of the button I've selected 700 comma 95 next feed dot mouse pressed feed dog when we press this feed button then feed dog now this feed dog is a function now we are calling that function when we press the feed button where's the feed dog yes right here now dog dot add image happy dog now before you feed the dog it's sad okay and then after you feed it then it becomes happy so dog dot add image happy dog now when you feed the dog 
the dog's image will change and it becomes a happy dog image so this is a happy dog and this is the dog so before it's like this and then happy dog is like this okay so next right code here to update food stock and last fed time okay so where food stock food underscore stock underscore val equals to food object dot get food stock so we are telling that food underscore stock underscore val means we are getting the information like get food stock okay so food dot js get food stock yes return this dot food stock okay what is now this dot food stock so that's the food stock already already there inside the amount now see we have to just add one we have to just deduct one so before deducting we need to know how much is already there inside so now right now one two three four five there are five bottles of milk now we need to know that there are five bottles of milk before we deduct one right so now when you press the feed dog one is getting deducted which means that one is getting removed so five minus one is four so to understand what is actually there inside the food stock for that reason we need this get food stock get food stock as in get the number of food stock there inside okay now let's see how does this dot food stock get the value of already given food stock. so how does it know that there's this much food stock okay so this function says it so right here sorry uh where is here okay this dot food stock which is food stock equals to database dot ref food so we have to refer this thing called food which is in the database so before everything we have to create the database right so right here so inside this first you add a node and then inside you keep feed time okay and then you add another node food in that food you can write any value but then when you deduct or increase now you'll see this food right i'll increase more food like now there are seven right so food seven now it's changed because now it is linked this database is linked to our project right so whenever we increase over here then in the database also the value gets increased okay so food stock equals to database dot ref food now we have created something called food over here so we have to refer this to know what is already given like already what is the food present the number of food so now there are seven bottles as of now okay so this refers to the food node and then it like keeps the value inside itself food stock dot on value and read stock so value is a uh, it is like a syntax and then read stock read stock okay read stock data whatever data and then foods equals to data dot val food object dot update food stock foods foods equals to data dot val now uh, before we start this now we have understood how does this food stock actually know what food is there inside like present at this moment right so that helps us to use this so get food stock return this food stock so now this get food stock function has the value that is there inside this dot food stock which ultimately means that what value is there in the food okay i i think that there's not such a big necessity for making so many functions 
so many variables but they have given it so we have to use them so um given p dot yeah so equals to food object dot get food stop so whatever value of this food object whatever is how many objects are there now that thing is stored inside food stock val okay if food underscore stock underscore val is less than zero or equal to zero is less than or equal to zero then food object dot update food stock food stock um, multiplied by zero now what's the necessity of multiplying it by zero so first of all before saying this there's few ways to do this because now I have used the hints to get to know this one but there's also a function in the food deduct food so you can use this function or you could either do like this but in the hint section of this project right here it's written like this could also use the you could also use the function deduct food it's the exact same thing so if this dot food stock is le more than zero then this dot food stock equals to this dot food stock minus one so this is also right this actually less code but i've seen in the hints and decided to do this this way okay so if this food stock underscore food underscore under stock underscore well is less than or equal to zero then food object dot update food stock now what is this update food stock it's another function in the food dot js food dot js yeah so update food stock food stock this dot food stock equals to food stock we are just updating it this we are updating this dot food stock and then you know we are we are just updating the number again so it just makes does the work of updating so what update what does it update it updates this value foods underscore stock underscore val times zero so it updates this food stock value okay so if food stock is less than zero that means even though there's no food we keep pressing feed the dog feed the dog feed the dog then it goes into minus values right then when you again click, click add food suppose after zero we have clicked the food stock feed the dog button three times then it goes into minus three value right then we need at least one uh, milk bottle to see the physical milk bottle right then when we plus once you won't be able to see it because minus three plus one is minus two so it will take us three times to make the value zero and the fourth time you will be able to see the milk bottle but that is not how it should work right we are not actually calculating maths over here so that's the reason food stock underscore val if less than zero then update food stock so food stock now uh, anything times zero is zero so we are ultimately updating the food stock to zero if it's less than or equal to zero okay else if that means if this food stock is more than one or is like more than yeah more than one or one or more than one then food object dot update food stock food stock underscore food underscore stock underscore val minus two so whatever the value of the food so how many foods are there suppose there are three then three minus one is two okay so that's how this deducting works now database dot ref then this what is this this is a very important thing that we should know what is this backslash so let's see now right now we are referring to this a node called feed time because we have to we have to last we have to make the but like last fed we want to see the last fed right so that's the reason and this means it's the main node okay now there are sub nodes as well so when you click this and then 
suppose you make something i'm just going to write blah and then you make one more one inside blah two so like this this is a main node but inside this node again you see a different node so now sorry yeah so now we are saying that refer to a main node not a sub node over here there's no sub nodes but there's two main nodes there are two main nodes food and food colon food object dot get food stock feed time dot colon r now food now this is for now if you don't have this line you will have a problem so now we'll say we deducted three times so one two three right now when you add food see now it will directly it will go to the fourth one it is not updating how much the value is there as of now so before whatever the value is there that was now suppose it's eight now we'll say feed the dog two times one two it is not actually updating that two are gone but when you keep add food the ninth one comes so it is not able to it's not being able to detect that two are gone so it's actually saying that the sec then when you add food then it will show all three of them so that's a problem i faced a problem so this this line of code helps us to preventing that so preventing so now suppose feed the dog feed the dog and then you just add one not a lot at a time so that's the reason this one is really important food food object dot get food stock so now this value we are again um, updating so this whole thing is about updating 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 <laughs> next we are up now feed time colon r now r um you might remember like we were doing a project called sunrise and sunset in that project we use a api link that allows us to see what time is it as of now right so this r is a inbuilt function that shows what time is it as of now it helps us to detect the time okay so you you have to write this or you could do this the thing that we did in sunrise and sunset project if you haven't checked the link you can see in the description box below okay so now you could um, do the same thing what we did so we have to like we have to take the value from whatever the api link is there then we have to cut it like we have to take only one part of it then there's a lot of process for that it's just that you could directly use this built one r okay so in that it automatically shows the local time now it's for me 4:30 feed time and then r so now it shows only the r not the minutes so feed time colon r now this shows the r we are updating the r now we want the feed time to be seen we took the current r but we have to see when did we feed it right and um, to make it display so till 255 it's rgb code to be fed to be fed 255 which is the red color i mean sorry which is white color if last fed more than 12 okay last fed is more than or equal to 12 then text last feed colon then a little cap and then last fed modulus 12 it's like divide divide by 12 plus pm so this last feed colon is a text and then this pm is again a text but the thing between it this four Okay, I want a gap between four and pm. So, uh, 
ओके यहाँ पर लिखा हुआ है See now there is the gap. Whatever texting you have to do, you should always do it in the the apostrophes. Okay. So last thread divided by twelve. If the last thread is more than or equal to twelve, then divide it by twelve. Okay. So from twelve, it's one o'clock to three like that, right? Last thread modulus twelve. Now suppose it's thirteen. Now this modulus doesn't really work like a division. I don't know what how, but now if it's twelve o'clock, okay. So twelve by twelve is like twelve o'clock. It will show. Now suppose it's thirteen. Thirteen is one o'clock for us, right? Then thirteen modulus twelve is one because then it shows the exact time in our how we see that, right? So that's how it works. Then three fifty thirty. Else, if last fed equals to equal to zero, zero which is uh, midnight. Okay. Then text last feed twelve a.m. So we don't we know that if it's zero, it's twelve a.m. We are sure about that. So that's the reason we directly write the text. Else, text so last feed colon. Last feed, so whatever the time is as of ten a.m. Okay, so this is how it works. So this is the project that we have to complete. We have to do the last feed and also do the uh, make a button. So this is how it works. But uh, I'll show you how this project actually works in the next video. Okay, so. This is the um, explanation of how should we do this project. But in the next video, I'll show you how does this project actually work. It will now, as of now, I just showed to create the button, whatever is required to finish the project. Next video, I'll show the whole detailed explanation. Thank you. Bye.